Simple interest. Let's start by describing what interest means, financially speaking, because there are many kinds of interests. Basically, interest is the amount of money that the bank charges you when you borrow money from them. And it is also what we call the money that a bank gives you for keeping your money in the bank. The amount of money that they give you or charge you is usually described as a percent, and we call this percent the interest rate. For example, the rate could be 3% per year, which means $3 for every $100. Let's try an example. Let's say you put $300 in the bank and the bank pays 2.5% simple interest annually, which means every year. The equation for this calculation would look like this. 2.5% times $300 which would give us $7.50. Now, $7.50 is not a lot of money, but $300 isn't really a lot of money either, is it? But the $7.50 is being given to you for free and with no risks. The more money you invest and the longer you invest it, the more money you will make. There are ways to make higher rates of interest, but these would involve more risk. So we'll talk about those another time. Let's do an example where a person gets charged interest. In this example, a person is buying a refrigerator from a department store that is charging simple interest at a rate of 12.5% annually, and they don't pay anything until the end of the year. The refrigerator cost $1,579. To calculate the interest the person would have to pay, we would calculate 12.5% times 1,579, which would give us 197.375, which we would round to $197.38. So at the end of the year, the person would have to pay back the initial cost of the refrigerator plus an extra $197.38. Do you think it's fair for the department store to get this extra amount? Remember, the person gets to keep the fridge for a whole year before they have had to pay anything. These two examples have been simplified so you can understand the basic math of simple interest. But usually people would be putting some of their savings into the bank every month, not just once a year. And they would also be paying off things that they bought every month, not just at the end of the year.